when my co-founder and I got together, the April 2016 competition uh, called the Chameleon Challenge was one of the first things that we did together. The goal was to identify breast cancer in lymph nodes. Uh, what they did was give us a, a, a lot of training data, which means they gave us you know, slides from patients who had uh, breast cancer as well as others who didn't. Uh, and our job was to train a model to identify uh, breast cancer in new slides. Right? So there was a held out set of slides uh, where we were to evaluate our system. The interesting thing that happened uh, was that they then also gave the same set of test slides to uh, pathologists, so to human pathologists who, uh, you know, were kind of competing against the machine. Um, so in a competition setting where, you know, the pathologists were told that they were competing against a machine, they had an error rate of about three and a half percent, while our fully automated system uh, had an error rate of 06 uh, percent. Uh, so essentially, it was, you know, started, like it was already doing better than uh, pathologists, uh, but the, the result that was even more shocking was uh, when the same test set was given to pathologists um, in a clinical setting, meaning that, you know, they have to go through a large number of slides, they're not uh, spending as much time as they want on each slide. Uh, in that case, their average error rate actually increased to about 15%, uh, as compared to the 0.6% of our machine, uh, which, you know, remains consistent um, and that was a very uh, significant uh, advance compared to uh, you know systems that had existed before uh, and so we won the competition which was uh, great uh, and since that time our hope has been to you know put a pathologist together with our machine to bring that error rate down to zero because we want to get the right diagnosis to every patient every single time.